So today we're gonna change the fluids on the Oliver. Uh, we got it started. It's pretty cold out today, so this should be fun. We're gonna run around the block a little bit, get her warmed up before we drain the fluids. Come on. So now since we got it warmed up, let's drain the oil. Yeah, so I don't have a wrench big enough for this. I think it's like a inch and an eighth for the drain plug. I'm just gonna use this crescent wrench. And hopefully it's big enough. wrench and a vice grip got her loosened up. Now let's get covered in oil. Every time. Should drain out of there pretty quick since we have uh, have it all warmed up. It calls for just under six quarts of 10W30. You can run a lighter weight oil, but um, it's such an old motor, I'm gonna run the heavier stuff. Especially since it's so cold, they originally recommended that you run like 5W20. But with the uh, newer oils and, and being that it's an older engine, I'm gonna run the heavier stuff. Here's our oil fill right here. That's where they are on most of these Olivers, especially the gas ones. Put our drain plug back in. Wish I had a bigger funnel. This funnel's a little too small for this job. But works good for getting into a tight place. 
Not that I have time here waiting for this oil to make its way down in there to this funnel. Um, on this tractor today we're going to change the oil which we're doing and then I also want to change the hydraulic oil. Uh, last time I had it out plowing snow it um, the hydraulics were kind of slow on me and I think there's a lot of water in the system. It's kind of that it's got that milky look to it when I checked it. So we're going to try to drain that out the best we can and put some new hydraulic in. Especially before this big snow we have tonight. I think the, the way we're going to do that is we're just going to have to open up a line and turn on the remote that that line is connected to. I'll probably steal one off of the off of the loader. It should be fun. The old owner's manual says that it takes about five gallons, five to six gallons, but we'll find out how much these these hydraulic cylinders for the, the loader take up and and how uh, how much the three point haul and the reservoir itself uses. Another thing I gotta do today is put the chains on. That should be fun. I got some bungee cords for it to, to tighten them because they're not an exact fit. You can see them on the floor there. You know, they're pretty old and cobbled together, but you should be able to make them work. More than enough for what I got going on here. Just following the driveway and, and some light use around the yard here. All right, now that we got the oil in there, let's uh, check out our dipstick. Over the full line. Once we turn it on, she'll uh, suck some through and she should be about right, I think. Give her a double check. Looks good to me. All right, that's engine oil changed. Now, we'll get on to hydraulic. All right, so to drain the hydraulic fluid, we're gonna disconnect this terminal right here and then drain it into this pail. Pressure on that. Alright, so this is why we're changing it. Obviously the hydraulic fluid is really milky right now. There's obviously water in it. So now, we're going to try to start the tractor and then run the terminal and see if we can get any fluid to pump out. Okay, so we started to get air bubbles, so that means it's really worked its way through the system. So we're going to add some and then just keep on going until we flush the system. Alright, so we're putting this hydraulic fluid in. It's um, just some universal tray um, tractor fluid. It's trans hydraulic fluid. Universal hydraulic fluid is basically what it is. I think we're going to put in about uh, a gallon or two and then try pumping it through the system again.
right, so now that we flushed the system a little bit, we're going to take off the old filter, which is inside this cast housing, and we're going to put the new one on. I didn't want to put the new one on right away until we flush some of this old fluid out. Now look at that milky slop. Yep. Beat up o ring off. Put this nice, fresh new one on. back into the system and run it through again to try and flush it. So we've ran the fluid through a couple times and it's starting to clear up. So I think we're going to connect the lines again and, and fill her up and um, see what that does. All right, so we just put the chains on and just in the nick of time, look, at it's no one out there. Man, talk about clutch when it comes to getting everything done just on time. All I have left is to drive out back and forth and loosen the chains up and then we'll readjust them and she should be all ready for later tonight or tomorrow morning. right here and what we're trying to do is just drive around a little bit so all the slack pulls out of it and then we can uh, get it another round or two tighter or link or two tighter sorry everyone I really appreciate it so today we just changed some fluids and put the chains on and just in the nick of time it's snowing but yeah thanks for watching we'll catch you guys next time make sure to like and subscribe leave comments down below on what you think of my uh, tool selection and uh, some of my mechanical choices